Hey RVers and future RVers, we have a roaring floor plan to show you today. The Puma by Palomino. It's the 16QBX that is awesome for a couple's travel trailer and everything that you need. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's get into it. All right, as you can see behind me, this travel trailer is not the biggest of all travel trailers out there, and that's just fine. It's a single axle travel trailer, narrow body, about 20 feet long, that gives you about a 3,000 pound tow capacity, or excuse me, about a 3,000 pound weight uh, sitting here dry. So which that really is the great thing about it is it gets us the ability to put this behind a lot of uh, SUVs. So you don't have to have that big enormous vehicle to tow something like this. Beyond that, which is what is awesome about it too, is you can get it anywhere. You can go to any national or state park and get this thing parked in every little nook and cranny in this small footprint. But hey, it's exciting inside to see. And before we go inside, let's hit a couple features on the outside first. As you can see, a nice big wide awning that gives us plenty of space for patio party of time. And patio party of time wouldn't be without music. We've got our outside speakers so we can jam and enjoy joy outside. And other than that, again, you just ha you have some electric to maybe plug in some of your cooking utilities. Um, you got a nice set of steps to go inside and all our camping gear can easily be stowed right inside that big compartment area. So let's go get inside. All right, we're inside the 2024 Palomino Puma. I'll say that 20 times fast. 16 QBX, which is an awesome couples travel trailer. Uh, we're going to get into it. We're just going to go around this whole thing and talk about all the wonderful uh, aspects and features that this sucker has. Moving right in front, uh, right to the left side of the door, you have your conveniently you have all your light switches to, to turn everything on and the awning on the outside is power. So whoop de doo how hard is it to push a button, right? That gives us that ease to, to be able to get into it. But of course, we have our full full queen bed. And what I love about this camper that is so unique, especially in this price point, is our window. A lot of campers save the save the money to, to and just put a full wall here. I'm all about camping. I'm all about uh, Mother Nature. I'm all about the environment. I'm all about outside. And this just allows me to have some of that wonderful natural light come in during the day. And at night, of course, I can close the blind down and get that privacy. But look, everything around me, we have tons of storage. There is nothing that they limit here to keep it in this price point. We have shirt closets on both sides, even with the mirror. And then, of course, the mirror is great because it also just enables um, that uh, visual aspect to make it feel a little bit uh, bigger of a travel trailer. We have all the storage above us that we can, where's that handle? We, we can we can put a ton of gear up here. We can throw some book bags and um, clothes, but it's it's pretty darn deep back here that we can fold a lot of stuff and, and tuck away. But that's not the honey hole of all the, all the storage. We have a lot of uh, storage ability here underneath the bed. We can throw maybe some big, uh, big linens, big blankets, uh, maybe some of those larger camping items that you're okay with, with keeping inside. And don't fear, we have you bringing your cell phone. Maybe you need to catch up on the weather before you hit the trails in the morning. We've got uh, charging stations on both sides, so that way we can get our phone charged up, ready to go. These windows on the on the opposite side, again, open up to give us some of that. <laughs> this one's stuck. <laughs> okay, I'll take that one back. That's an emergency exit. It does, trust me, it does open. But again, they take care of um, uh, some privacy with a nice uh, fabric blind as opposed to those metal metal blinds that tend to uh, crinkle and kind of kind of wear its uh, timetable a little bit sooner, faster than these fabric blinds. All right, so you got the full queen walk around bed. Now we got a full on kitchen. We've got tons of storage up top. We've got we can pl throw a lot of uh, plates and utensils and cups and things like that up there. And of course, just for those quick, quick reheats or maybe popcorn for movie time, we've got our microwave. But if you're not so much on the microwave, no fear, you've got the two burner propane stovetop to get into to, uh, your cooking. And then plenty of counter space to, to stretch out some of those kitchen utensils, maybe uh, appliances like your coffee pot and stuff. And of course, a, a, a big arch, um, yeah, loss of words, big arch uh, a faucet here so you can get in some of those deeper pots and pans uh, for cleanup time. 
good storage underneath, maybe for a small trash can, or you can go to say like a, a home home goods store kind of thing and maybe get some shelving or some, some bins and utilize or maximize that space. We even have some drawers, like a utensil drawer. We can throw some stuff in there. And another big uh, cavity here that's up underneath the stove that we can easily stow tons of stuff there. And while we're down here, I just want to point out, it is not a, a big travel trailer, not a big footprint. So uh, the volume of air is um, definitely going to be t uh, heated and cooled easily. This is your furnace here. So that sucker is about the size of a furnace that you'll find maybe even up to like, say a 30 foot travel trailer. So you'll see once it gets going, it's going to heat you out of here. Then you can certainly turn it back. And then up on the ceiling, Again, a huge air conditioner that you can open and close and manipulate the airflow. But I got to point out, just like the furnace, it is huge. This is the size of a, a AC that's typically, on, again, on 25, 30 foot travel trailers. So it'll chill you down real quick. All right. And then, of course, we have we're sitting here at the dinette. We have a, we have a storage at top. We have uh, our stereo that we can play some tunes on the outside. If you are into TV watching when you're camping, I prefer to unplug. I don't know about you, but heck, they do have a bracket here, a bracket, a bracket that you can install uh, here on the uh, backer of in, inside this uh, wall here and hook up your TV and easily be able to catch up on some stuff there. But this dinette's kind of cool. It's, it's a two person dinette that has plenty of arm space here that I can enjoy my coffee, spread, uh, spread out some, some breakfast and have ample amount of space to, to enjoy, enjoy a nice meal and notice the big window too. So we can easily open this, get some fresh air in or heck somebody's out there. You want to holler and yell at them. Hey, my eggs are overdone. You know, that kind of stuff. So I love the fact that uh, they still are maintaining some of the wonderful big aspects that you find in the bigger, more expensive travel trails in the smaller, smaller camper. But you also have this doubles as a sleeping space. So the queen bed up front is not enough, or maybe you have a, four, a furry four-legged friend that's coming with you and you need another sleeping space without impeding some of the walkway. This easily sets up into a bed. Let's check it out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? And now you have like a nice twin bed for someone that's small, maybe a, a, a small toddler or a kid, or again, if, if you have to squeeze in a camping buddy, a full adult, they might be sleeping a little, a little snug, but needless to say for a night or two, I'm sure they're gonna be comfortable. All right, and then we're out camping, we love to eat, right? So we've gotta be able to have space to store all our goodies. Check out this refrigerator and freezer, a dedicated, uh, separate unit here for each. That freezer is huge, the refrigerator is huge, so ample amount of space to easily get in a week's worth of produce and, and goods to uh, be able to eat and enjoy that camping time. All right, last but not least, the bathroom. That's what's behind this door. Let's check this out. Again, for a 16 foot floor plan, this bathroom is enormous. I mean, look at the counter space here for the bathroom, easily be able to put all my toiletries out and not have to worry about finding uh, space or more importantly, kind of stow it away where it might be in the way. Otherwise, we have a medicine cabinet to stow a lot of stuff there. We've got plenty of storage in this deep cabinet here to, to tuck a bunch of stuff away there. And then of course your shower. Your shower's got a lot of elbow room, some head height. And one last thing on that I love about the shower here that they've done that a lot of campers don't do is the tub. When my kids were small, I specifically bought a travel trailer because of this tub. That way when they're infants, I could I have a actually place to wash them up. It amazes me here, uh, even this day, that so many campers that uh, when they design these, they just do a shower pan. Why? Because it's easy and cheap, right? This, uh, this way you can back, back up some water, soap up the kids, maybe even your own feet, and uh, have, have not only a shower, but also a tub to, to double up or double down on the cleaning duty. So again, 2024 Palomino Puma 16 QBX. So is this floor plan roaring or speaking to you? Maybe it's the outside with that big awning. Maybe you don't have a big tow vehicle and you need something smaller to give you all the necessities you need to get off the grid and go camping. Again, seven foot wide, about 20 feet long, only 3,000 pounds. That definitely will put this behind a lot of vehicles out there that have a receiver and about a 5,000 pound towing capacity. 
or maybe it's just the aesthetics inside, the nice big windows, the bright LED lights, um, the whitewashed cabinets that just give a nice bright homey feel like it's almost your house. Or maybe it's the fact that it's got a little bit of everything that you need. Full queen, uh, walk around queen bed, a full bathroom, full kitchen, a place to eat. Or maybe is it just the features that it has, like in the air, the, the, the large capacity of heating and air conditioning to keep, keep you comfortable wherever you go, whenever you go throughout the season. So you got to I think you got to put it at least on your list and do some research. Again, it's the 2024 Palomino Puma 16 QBX. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Comment below of any questions that you may have or anything you want us to show that uh, go further in depth and show us some love. Smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you out of the campsites. Mm -hmm.